it probably comes as no surprise that rivers are my favorite places. There's life here in energy. And it's always beautiful. There's also an undeniable call to be a part of it, to experience the river. But how does one do that? You can see a river, you can hear it, you can taste it, you can smell it. You can walk right up next to it and touch it. And for most people, that's where the experience stops. They are, if you will, only acquaintances with the river. But if you look long enough, you realize there's something more. There's nooks and crannies and ledges and holes. There's a power that must be respected, yet still beckons. First, it may seem like chaos, but then you realize there's patterns that emerge, and then you begin to see it. You begin to imagine yourself flowing down the river as if you were part of it. You see the places you want to be and the places you want to avoid. But to what end would someone try such a venture? What is the purpose? That's the curious thing about a river. If you really want to experience it, you have to get on it.
while the river calls to everyone. Few seem to hear it, and fewer still will answer. And those that do are forever changed. <laughs>